Welcome to my kitchen. Today we have Anthony Alvino, the executive chef at Delaney's Tavern in Delaney Park. And uh, if you haven't been to Delaney's Tavern, you've got to go there. They've got some really terrific food going on there. And it's mainly due to this man. But how do you like my new Delaney's Tavern mask? Pretty cool, huh? It means that they're all wearing them there, and I think that's great. I'm going to take mine off because I'm alone except for my Labradoodle, Toby, and he's going to keep his mask on. It's mainly because his breath really stinks. But, Anthony, tell us what we're going to make today. Uh, today we're going to be preparing one of my favorite dishes, one of my favorite fishes to eat. Uh, it's a Chilean sea bass Ooh. with a shoyu cream sauce, uh, mushrooms, bok, baby bok choy, pearl onions, and a wasabi mash. The real star of the show is the sea bass, but the shoyu sauce and the wasabi mash add just a, a great complexion of flavor. It brings the dish all together. So how do we make it? Here we start off with about three cups of the shoyu. We have a half cup of the honey. We use a Mike's Hot Honey here, but you can feel free to use a regular honey and then spice it up with some chili flakes at your house if you can't okay. find this Mike's Hot Honey. Good. Half cup of brown sugar. Quarter cup of sriracha. Quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. And then a cup of water. And here we're just gonna blend this all together with a whisk. Now I like to sear my fish in a non-stick skillet. That way you get a nice good golden brown sear on it. And you don't have to worry about the fuss of it sticking. Uh, but you can use any pan you want at the house. Um, nice hot pan when you're searing. Presentation side up, arrow. That's a good sign, hearing that snap bubble. About how long does it take, Chef? Uh, I'd say it sears off probably in about three to four minutes. And I'm just searing this off and really good olive oil. You can sear it off in uh, olive oil or butter at your house. And that's the kind of the color of the crust we're looking at. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting in here. You got nice golden brown ridges on the side there. We'll go ahead and yeah, finish this gorgeous. off in the oven. Now we'll saute our veggies first. We'll deglaze the pan with the shoyu sauce. And then we'll add the heavy cream and thicken it up to a, a sauce like consistency. When I saute the veggies, I don't even season it because of the you get enough salt from the, the shoyu sauce. So okay. no, not even necessary to season with salt and pepper here. I smell rich color. I smell that nutty flavor from the thing. Make sure we cut all our veggies. And here we'll deglaze with the heavy cream. And then the sauce turns to almost like a caramel type consistency and color. It's yeah. gorgeous. That is beautiful. Yeah, it gets a nice deep rich brown in there. It's gorgeous. Now the wasabi mash, we make that ahead of time. We add, we just boil up some potatoes, 
uh, strain that, add some butter, a little bit of milk, some roasted garlic, and then we fold in some wasabi powder. That gives it that, that wasabi, uh, strength of wasabi taste you get in there. Okay. Uh, we have our wasabi mash plated right here. Our golden tile fish seems to be perfectly cooked through. Uh, this, this fish is so tender and flaky. One of my favorites. And then here, we have our show you cream sauce and veggies. Looking gorgeous and delicious. Let's cascade that over the top here. There you go. Gorgeous. That looks Delay beautiful. Delay sea bass. Show you cream sauce, wild mushrooms, pearl onion, baby bok choy, and wasabi mash. That looks great. So you think I can do this? Yeah, absolutely. Shouldn't okay. be too hard. <laughs> well, I've got all my ingredients, so I'm going to go and give it a try, and then I'll get back with you, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like, and you can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Sounds good. Beautiful. I love that color. I will. It's not too dark. Oh, I, I like it dark like that. Good. It's like almost like caramel. The yes, the, exactly. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to dig into this. It would be better if I were at Delaney's Tavern eating this because I know it would be terrific. But I think this will be might be good enough. I'm going to have the recipe online uh, with all of the chefs. Very good directions and give this recipe a try. And if you want to know what it really tastes like, go to Delaney's Tavern and let the master make it for you. Chef Anthony, thank you so much for joining us in my kitchen. Thank you for having me. All right, and thank you. We'll see you soon.